welcome Solex Nation. We would like to welcome all of you and especially all of the new people that are joining us tonight. We have a lot. We have so many and we're, we're so grateful that you're joining us here on this call. We have true engagement all over the place. And do you know that- Globally. We, globally, mm -hmm. all over the world. We're engaging globally with so many people. It is incredible and we love it. Uh, we're glad that you're with us. We hope you're here to learn and to just thrive either in- what you're learning about the scanner or in your business or both. Uh, so we're just happy to have you here. So thanks for being here tonight. Should we talk a little bit about the phones? Yes. So if you're new, you may have, you probably experienced uh, a little bit of a delay in delivering of those uh, of phones. And that's mobiles. not normal. Yeah, it's it's not normal for us, although it has been a challenge that we've been trying to manage for well over a year now. Mm -hmm. uh, just something to do in the global supply chain uh, when it comes to technology and technological devices. One of the things, so let me give you the current state. We did get a, a lot, a lot of phones, a bunch of them, as well as a specific, a specific amount lot. Yeah. Uh, of phones in, and those were distributed. Mm -hmm. We actually got enough for about a month, and, and we blew through those in a couple of weeks. So with that challenge, we put an increased order in, and right now we're, uh, we're probably about a couple of weeks away from getting those to your doorstep. Uh, we're hoping those will be on time. Um, there was a holiday where we have the manufacturing, and so that kind of shut down manufacturing. One of the things we want, I want to mention regarding the phone specifically is this, that the phone itself is a very well-built, dedicated device for using your AO scan. It's not going to be as fast as an iPhone or a Samsung or something like that, but it will be a specifically designed device for using it in the scanning process. Mm -hmm. That's important. And so the investment- Fewer disturbances. From the phone itself. Yes. Right, yep. whether, whether it's software or actually even the electronic design of, of the right. phones. But what, we're, what we want to emphasize as well in that is that while we're getting those phones to you, you do have the option to continue or to start using the scanning service, right? That's the right. AOScan technology. If you have your own phone, if you have a computer or a tablet, you can use that in the meantime. You can. Now, it has its own distractions. Mm -hmm. Like uh, many times throughout the day, I'll use my own iPhone uh, to do a scan. Well, if I get a phone call right in the middle of that scan, yeah, it's going to interrupt it, disrupt things it is. along the way, yeah. including texts and other messages that I get through. Well, you also use your email, Facebook, other things on yeah. your phone, and that slows down the scanning process. So you can use it on your own device. It's just not as seamless. Yes. Yeah. And so the, the mobile or the tablet that we have, dedicated design devices, powerful devices for the scanning service. But in the meantime, while you're waiting, if you recently purchased and you're just joining us tonight, know that you, you don't have to miss a day without you getting the benefits of frequencies in your life and getting those optimized for yourself. But let me just make one other note. We have uh, with the, the change, the next, we have a cool new design for our box, right? Yeah. So you see that? A little foil line in here. Hopefully you can see that blue shining through a simplified box design. Um, that we just we just love. We're happy about it. So yeah. your new phones, when you, when they come in the next couple of weeks, you'll get those. Uh, one more thing regarding that supply chain challenge. It's not just with Solex. It's, it's not. not just our problem and our vendors. Um, in fact, I was on uh, looking at an iPhone, yeah. right? To go. Last week. Yeah. Looking at the iPhone 14, right? Yeah. And if I were to place the order last week, so that's right at the beginning of, of October, the phone, the earliest the phone would be delivered was November 19th. And so it's not something that just Solix is dealing with. It's something that Apple's dealing with, That's that right. Samsung's dealing with. We all are dealing with yeah. this. And we'll continue to do everything we can strategically to make sure that we're in position, whether it's the chips or the, the hardware, any of the hardware pieces, or even just aligning and timing the shipment of those to us. So, so the Cliff Notes version, your phones yeah. are coming. Use your own device while you're waiting. Um, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. That's what Shelby's here for. You know, tighten things up. That's right. Um, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit about food sensitivities um, for a second. Um, I've noticed a lot of... Like just your food sensitivities? <laughs> no, no one wants to hear about that. The ones in the scanner, The right? ones in the scanner. So um, there have been quite a few questions about food sensitivities and, um, and maybe needing some clarification on what those mean. And so just 
really fast. We'll have Lauren address this in the next couple of weeks, but we wanted just to tell you now food sensitivities, it does not uh, show an allergy. It does not say this is what you are allergic to. Um, and a question came in that said, well, why is um, this showing up? I don't even know what it was. Why, why would eel show up when I don't eat eel? I haven't had eel. Um, yeah. and or dairy for some people or nuts or that's whatever. Right. I don't, that I don't you, consume, the, consume those, but they're right. coming up as, as a, a sensitivity for yep. you. Now it's not, it, what it is, is the frequencies in your body at that moment in time are not aligning with the frequency that's in that particular food. Okay. So that's what, that's all the scanner is trying to tell you that today don't eat that particular food. If you want to feel your best. Um, we were, uh, in Maine a couple of weeks ago and I had lobster like three days in a row, I think. And then on the fourth day when I scanned lobster came up as double red. And so I asked Lauren about that and I said, well, does that mean that I shouldn't have been eating lobster the last three days? And he said, no, it just means that today your body doesn't align with lobster. So if you want to feel your best, don't eat lobster today. Um, so that hopefully helps clear that up a little bit. We'll have Lauren go into more detail about that, but just remember that this is not diagnosing anything. Um, this is not telling you that you have an allergy to anything. It's just telling you really the scanner's whole purpose is to show you how to feel your best and what you can do and the actions that you can take to feel your best. Yeah, that's great, great. So we're always checking against those frequencies. Yes. It's not necessarily saying you have this, you don't have this. It's this is a frequency that's not aligned. That's right. Good, good. Okay, it's a fun time of the month. Let's look at the rank advancements. I love this time of the month. All right, great number of uh, bronze and silver and golds, and look at platinum. Two platinums. Paige this month. and Rita, congratulations. That's a big deal. Good job, guys. Okay, uh, we had a contest. Okay, last week our contest was about stretching. Do you remember? Yes. Oh, yeah. No, I love that. Yes. I, I mean, to, to really sh quickly recap it, I reviewed a study of this had to do with yoga where you're stretching and how stretching actually changes the structure of the brain. Mm -hmm. In fact, areas in the, of the brain that are consciously aware of the difficulties and pushing through difficulties actually changes. It gets bigger. It gets stronger. And so the invitation was, what is it that you are going to stretch to yes. push through how are you um, going to improve this fall, this fall right yep. what are you going to stretch through we had some always we always have such good answers yeah um but we would like to draw three and they're getting light wave glasses they, you are getting that's a big one yep. you're getting light wave glasses so you okay. go ahead and draw we'll read your responses all right let's mix these up all right and then trying to get one instead of two tracy hill congratulations tracy first off for the next few months and beyond, I've decided to go back to school and get my doctorate, PhD in natural medicine. I work a full-time job and run my own business. I'm leaning into being present so much more and going outside of my comfort zone as a 48-year-old mom student. Wow. That that is amazing. That, that, is, that is that's uh, a big stretch. And that that's touches great. home, Tracy. I love that. I yeah. love that you're never willing to to say, oh, there's a finish line to my learning. Mm -hmm. there, there's an ending point. There isn't. And you're just pushing through despite all of the reasons that you could stop, right? Yes. Kids. That's right. Other life, everything. Yes. 40 years old. Very Shake valid off the rust. Excuses, get back at reasons. it. Yeah, you know? Good job. Kai is always down for anyone going back to school. Oh, I am. All right. Next one. Heather Lambias. I always yeah. slaughter these Limbus. names. Yeah. I'm going to push through the discomfort of telling people about the success I and my family are having from using the AL scanner and Cephi dots. I will think about all the ways that they too could benefit from this device instead of focusing on the fear that they will not believe that it is possible. I really do want to take my career in a new direction and it starts now by believing that I can do this and follow through even when it's uncomfortable. I that, love that is... Heather. And that is the, I think that's the number one reason why people don't share the yeah. device is because they're scared of the rejection. But yeah. you know what? Collect those no's. No's are good because, you know, with every no you get, there's a yes right around the corner. I love that. Collect the no's. Collect the no's. And, 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 and no and doesn't mean no forever. It means not right now. Yeah, it means not right now. And on top of that, we all share all the time. We do. Well, often when, when, when there's an, a compensation tied to it, sometimes we think that we're 
in this real strong process of selling yeah. when it's actually just a really soft process of sharing something that we're passionate about. Yeah, look, this has helped me. This has changed my life and the, the life of my family. So I would love to show you what it yeah. is. That's yeah. all you're doing. Yeah, I love that. That's so. great. So Heather, Lightweight Glasses And I love that you. you included Cephi Dots. Yep. We love our Cephi Dots. Yes, we never are them. without yeah. them. There you go. Yep. All right, last one. Here it is. Coming up on the bottom of my hand. Let's see. Nikki Hoffman, continue building an app and game to equip children with skills and tools for mental and emotional well-being. It is my business partner and my mission to eradicate child suicide while also making sure these children are happy, healthy, and solution-focused. Nikki, that is fantastic. What a tribute to the effort that you're, you and your partner are going through to help children and, and anybody uh, facing uh, that sort of, of difficulty. Um, yes, let's eradicate suicide. How about that? It's a very valiant pursuit. Yep. So Love thank that. you for sharing that. All right, all three of you, we will send your Lightwave glasses tomorrow. All right, top and rollers. Top and roller time, October 3rd through the 9th. Yes, October 3rd through the 9th. We do have a tie for second place. We do. And the first one is Tammy Tyson. And the other one is Beck McQuilty. I think she's trying to get as many enrollments done before she heads to Disneyland. Probably. Yes. That's coming up. Now, Tammy's her. in Canada and Beck is in Australia. So I Whoa. love seeing the other, that's fantastic. Yeah, the I other love countries that. in here. All right. And our top enroller. Now, I want everyone to pay attention to this because this person is on fire. Watch yep. what she is doing. Number one is Becky Coots Kimbley. Congratulations, Becky. Solix Silver Coin. Coming your way. Your way. All right. Now we are going to turn the time over to Deb Bruce. Okay. I'm really looking forward today to sharing with you some of the research that I've done over one of the questions that came through that to me was very interesting and very uh, asked in a number of different ways from a number of different angles. And at first it may seem very simplistic, but there's actually a lot that's involved in the background of the value of this question. So the question came through, does the emotion cause the problem? like parasites or Epstein-Barr or something of that nature? Or does do the parasites or the Epstein-Barr or whatever comes up cause the emotion? So which do we work on first? How do we work on it? What, what do we do with it? And the question a number of times was aimed at that people were feeling that maybe too much emphasis is being put on the emotional aspect when they should be targeting the actual uh, symptom or problem that's coming up in the scanner. So it's a very valid question and it's one that really deserves uh, looking into so that you're using your mobile scanner correctly and also so that you're connecting the dots between the various really uh, valuable parts of your scanner. So one of the first things that I just wanted to remind everybody of is that we live in a society that is used to instant gratification. How so? Think about it. Over the last few decades, it's gotten where if somebody has a headache, what do they do? Do they think dehydration? Do they think lack of sleep? Do they think of the food that they just ate a half an hour ago? No. What do they think? Ibuprofen, Tylenol. Take a pill. Within 20 minutes, you'll feel better. Okay. This carries and puddles out to a lot of different things in our society. Um, a lot of the different, if there's gastric problems, what does somebody do? Do they think about whether or not their stomach's making enough hydrochloric acid? Do they think about their enzymes? Do they think about the food that caused the same problem a week ago? No. What do they do? They grab a Tums. Instant gratification. You swallow a couple of Tums, the stomach gets coated, the pain goes away, and you just go on eating and doing everything you've always done, correct? So. This starts to build up where everybody is so used to instantly being able to do something to get rid of a symptom or a problem that they don't ever dive into the cause or the cause of the cause or the cause of the cause of the cause. Now, why is that important? Because your mobile scanner is built to help you find not just the cause, but the cause of the cause and even deeper. Okay. So, the other point is it's not diagnostic. 
remember when you see something that says Epstein Barr, when you see something that is parasites, when you see something that is a uh, medical type problem, you have to immediately in your brain go, okay, I'm not going there. I'm not thinking that way. I'm not going to think diagnostic. What am I going to think? I'm going to think about the fact that it could be cellular memory. It could be residual damage. It could be residual inflammation. It could be recent exposure and developing. It could be there, have been there for a long time. The fact that it can be that many choices has to imprint on your brain that you cannot treat your scanner like it is diagnostic. What does this go back to? This goes back to that your scanner works entirely on frequencies. And frequencies can fluctuate in the body from second to second, moment to moment, day to day. So basically what you end up needing to do with your scanners, you need to look for patterns. You need to look for things that are staying in your reports in the lists where it's showing a definite trend. You need to be able to use the suggestions in your scanner to see if you get improvement in what is showing up, uh, improvement in the numbers that you're seeing. Because remember, you've got all the way to one on this end. You've got five ideal and you've got four, three, two, one. One would be where the function energetically is really being effective and, and could have been there for affected. It could have been there for quite a long time. Six, seven, eight, nine is increasing frequencies for inflammation. That could be something that happened more recently or the thing that has a one is actually causing it where there is the nine of inflammation because of it having been there for a long time. It also could be from past injury. It could be any number of different things. So don't view your scanner as being diagnostic. Stop thinking that when it says this, it means that I have this right now. It could be any number of different things. But ultimately, that is the true value of your scanner. You don't want your scanner to just be saying, you have this, you have that, you have something else. What you want it to do is show the things that have led up to something, the lifestyles that need changing, and to have the ability to monitor as you change your lifestyle and you put into place things that it's suggesting that you can actually track the improvement. This is very, very important. Now, if something that is very uh, possibly serious shows up, shows up, shows up, shows up, shows up, then what are you going to want to do? You're going to want to go to a person who medically has the license and the ability to do something diagnostic. Okay. So let's backtrack again. What does Lauren always say? Lauren always says that the thing that is one of the most important things in your scanner is the inner voice, the inner voice, the inner voice, the inner voice. Why does he keep stressing that? Because it's a known fact that emotions can actually, over time or even short term, cause frequencies in the body where peptides are released, where different organs, glands, and systems get affected. And if that keeps up long term, or if it even is severe short term, it can result in disease. Think again what the word disease, how is that structured? It's dis-ease. So if you have dis-ease long enough in an organ gland or system, it can manifest as disease. So your, your inner voice is just absolutely so important and so valuable. It actually helps the brain. You have the left side of the brain, the right side of the brain, you have the primal brain, you have the frontal cortex that has the ability to focus and uh, concentrate on different things. All of those parts and many others have to work together. And the inner voice just helps the brain to work better. When the brain works better, the body works better. When the emotions are more balanced, the body is more balanced. And so that's why Lauren continually emphasizes that the inner voice is one of the most important parts of your scanner. Now, think of the body parts that they have noticed uh, get labeled with certain emotions. So you have the liver that typically is associated with anger. You have the gallbladder that has been known to be associated with resentment. You have the uh, heart that at times has been affected by rage. We all know stories of somebody that has a history of, 
rage problems and then drops dead of a heart attack. You have the bladder that has been associated with paras paralyzed will. Um, even from a scriptural standpoint, if you're a Bible reader, you have in the Bible that the calm heart is the life of the organism. There's also another scripture that talks about jealousy being rottenness to the, to the bone. So if you're one that um, goes from a God creation standpoint, you would think that he knows what he's talking about when he says that jealousy is rottenness to the bones. There's actually an effect on the bones from a long-term um, condition of being jealous. So all of these things point to that it's very, very important to use your inner voice and to realize that there is a correlation between what emotions people are feeling and what happens in their body. So let's go back to the original question. And we can see that it can go both ways. Why? Okay, go back to Einstein. Einstein said that you have energy and you have to connect it with particles. You have particles, you have to connect it with energy. It goes both ways. So how does that work with emotions and the inner voice? Well, if there's the frequency of emotion, eventually it will affect the particles. Okay, that's where you see something long-term, where a person is having issues health-wise because of a long-term standing emotion. But how does it go the other way? Well, what happens if somebody hears that a loved one has died? That's immediate. That isn't something that's long-term. That hits them like a runaway freight train. Okay, the adrenaline goes up. There's fear. There's panic. There's grief, there's sadness, there's confusion. Now, is that not going to affect the particles? So that's where you can have it where, yes, the emotion can make it where there eventually is what shows up in the scanner. But there again, you can have what shows up in the scanner be an immediate thing that's going to have a big impact on the body right away. Okay, so it can go both ways. What if somebody finds out that they have cancer? Okay, what is that going to do to the body? You find out they have cancer, that is not something that is going to wait long term to have an effect on the body. Right away, what's one probably one of the first two or three emotions? Fear, anger, disbelief, confusion, all of these things. And what's going to happen when the brain, because of that, floods the body with the neuropeptides? because of those emotions. It's gonna have an immediate effect on the body. But here again, that's where the value of the inner voice comes in to start calming those things down and not have it add to the problem. Your inner voice is incredibly, incredibly um, powerful. So what do we do with all this? Now that we know that the emotions can long-term affect the body, but we also know that we can, oh, another one. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack a minute here. So what happens when somebody goes to Mexico and they have a fantastic vacation? They go deep sea fishing. They lay out on the beach. They have a few margaritas. They have some great meals. They just have the best time. And then they come home and they realize through their scanner and their symptoms that they have a massive case of parasites. Okay. They were really careful, but you know what? Shoot, those ice cubes and the margaritas, they just came from the local water supply, and now they have some parasites. What is the immediate emotional response going to be? Maybe anger, disappointment, frustration, whatever. So there's another example of something where, yes, parasites could all of a sudden start showing up in the scanner because it's an immediate thing that has happened, and the frequencies are there. Now, remember, the frequencies are coming from a database that doesn't have every parasite in the world. So even if it lists the parasites, it could be the closest thing to what somebody has. So here again, you don't treat it as diagnostic. You just go with what's showing up and you start to do something about it. But there again, those are the immediate frustration and uh, emotions that could start and affect the body from even something like uh, parasites. So bottom line, what do you do? you look to your scanner. Um, you're gonna see a slide here. The slide is the slide of a report from inner voice. Now notice on the inner voice, it doesn't just show the emotions. It gives suggestions on what to do at the bottom. 
guess what? Those suggestions are going to work whether it's long-term, the effect from emotion that's been building up for a long time ago, or if it's something immediate. Follow the suggestions that show up in your mobile scanner. Secondly, on the second slide that you see here is going to be the body systems. Now, body systems is an amazing way to use your scanner to immediately get suggestions on what's going on in the system. So if you're concerned about parasites, maybe you run the digestive a few times a week body system and see that you're seeing improvement with what's suggested under body systems and digestion or any other thing that shows up that you're concerned about. Run that body system a couple times each week or a few times each week just to see what is showing up as suggestions in there. Um, the third slide that you're going to see here is uh, a PDF slide from the comprehensive. Now, why is that valuable? Because you can look and see where you see ones and nines, which show reduced function and frequencies for inflammation. And you can start connecting the places where those ones and nines are with what you saw in your inner voice with what you saw in the body systems. Then you can take the suggestions that are in common between those reports and really start applying them. Maybe it's B vitamins for stress. Maybe the suggestion is, says dehydration, dehydration, dehydration. Maybe it says improve the diet. It, whatever it is, look for the theme, look for the trend, look for the thing that the brain is picking out. Trust that your brain sees what's going on and that it also has the ability to pick out the suggestion that's going to help you start being able to make improvement and then look for the trend of improvement. Uh, the next slide that you see is uh, the reports on phase two. Now, how valuable are the reports on phase two? Very valuable. One, after phase two, when you have access to the reports, you have the number of years that something has been showing up under emotions. That's going to give you a clue as to whether it's been something in the short term that's affected the body, or maybe it's something that has been from childhood. Maybe it was in utero, okay? And then it's going to say low cause or high cause. If it says low cause, you know that that emotion on that body part is affecting energetically the function. If it says high cause, it's because it's something that is affecting the body with an inflammatory response frequency wise. So you're going to get all kinds of clues from watching what comes up in that report from phase two. It's also going to give you bacteria frequencies, viral frequencies, parasite frequencies, all kinds of things that you can monitor, but then go back to the cause of the cause of the cause and tie it back in with your body systems. Tie it back in with the areas of, on the PDFs, the nines and the ones. Where are they? You'll see it in the report, but go back and look back. Is it something to do with digestion? Is it something to do with hydration? Is it something to do with diet? And then go back to even the beginning, like Lauren always says, and use the inner voice. You're going to want to do a playlist for your emotions. You're going to want to do a playlist for different viruses, bacteria, and parasite components, and run the frequencies to try to balance out things and push them in the right direction. You're going to want to load your supplement library. Your, your inner voice and your body systems are going to have a lot of suggestions on what you possibly are deficient in. Take your supplements, scan them, see how much you need, and on a daily basis, start doing that and see if you see a difference in the ones, the nines, and what shows up in the reports. Uh, minerals. You can check for those daily. See if the stress of a different situation, like finding out that a loved one died or finding out that somebody has something serious that you're scanning, is sapping their minerals and making it where they need to add minerals. All nine body systems rely on minerals. It doesn't matter if the emotion's causing the problem or the problem's causing the emotion. Either way, that mineral deficiency is going to affect all nine body systems. Um, check your homeopathics. You now have a huge list of homeopathics. Check in and start researching some of those and run the ones that are the most beneficial for what you're seeing. Cell salts. Cell salts are invaluable to the body. Absolutely invaluable. You now have the ability to add those in as well. Homeoenergetics. Homeoenergetics are amazing. 
you have your ultimate emotions, which is all 38 Bach floral remedies where the brain can pick from it each day what's needed to help with the emotions. How valuable is that going to be if somebody has just had incredibly distressing news and just needs some help with stabilizing in addition to their inner voice? Um, Epstein-Barr, DT, helps give the frequencies to the brain to help with something that shows up for Epstein-Barr. If you're concerned about parasites, you have Vermitox DT. It's going to have the frequencies of the major categories of parasites, and it's going to help your body with uh, working with that particular situation. And it also, and it could be cellular memory, it could be residual inflammation, it could be residual damage, whatever it is. Um, in, in addition to that, you have also the ability to use your dots. We got dots at day of discovery. How many of these things that you find could you load in the dots, place it on the wrist if you're concerned about not putting it in one of the other points, and for the next few days, let the dots reinforce the inner voice that you're listening to, the supplements that you're loading into your Cephi, the different frequencies that you're running from the other categories. And then you also have the ability to imprint your water. What happens if you take all the things that you found and actually imprint your water so that as the body is hydrating, it's actually flushing out the possible toxins that the brain may be choosing to work on to get released from the body so that when you scan again, your reports are going to show the progress with the inflammation, with the lack of function. These are just a few of the things that you can do with your scanner. So just remember that it can go either way. The emotion can cause the issue, the symptom, long term. Something acute can cause it where there's the emotion. It really doesn't matter which way it's going. What is important is what are you going to do about it? Use your scanner in the way it's meant to be used. Remember that Einstein said particles, energy, energy, particles. Just use what shows up, use the resources that are there to work on it, and you will, over time, see improvement in your reports, in your ones, in your nines, and just the overall well-being of the body. So I hope that that helped with this one question. We'll be doing a lot more in the future, and I look forward to sharing research with you in the future. Hope you have a great day. All right, Lauren, you had an idea that changes things uh, this week, which I think is fantastic okay. regarding who should win this next week's contest. I think everybody should win this week. Everybody, everybody. can win. Okay. So the idea of everybody can win is anybody who enrolls from, tonight, from today, Wednesday, through next, what do we have to do? Is it Tuesday? No, through, no, through, through Monday. Monday. Through, through Monday. Monday. So Wednesday through Monday, anybody who enrolls somebody with a subscription will automatically win something. With, you need, you need to go onto this call and you need to comment oh. on why you're passionate about AOScan and Solex. So you need to make that comment and share your passion, why you're passionate about it. And then we need someone... You, we, to enroll you roll somebody yeah. that has a subscription. Yep. And everybody that does those two things will receive a bottle, a four ounce bottle of the Onyx Gold. Gold. So everybody wins. The fulvic acid, everybody wins. So if you enroll buddy somebody with subscription, comment on this call, your passion, you automatically know you win next week. And we'll share all those names next week. So congratulations, you're already gonna win. We're in it for everybody. So Onyx Gold coming to everybody. See you next week. Hello, welcome so Wait a minute. No, no, I wasn't ready. I was about to laugh again. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. Hello, welcome to Solex Nation. I was waiting for you to stop me, so I wasn't ready to keep going. Okay, all right, thing. that's what it is. That's okay, what's stopping me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Ready? Now, now I'm ready. All right. Woo!